from the four corners of your world. Da tutta la scena del mondo. This is Global Gas. Yes, what is up, guys? How you doing, man? Here, a little Global Gas action. Your games and sports from around the world, and I'm bringing you a special one, all right? Now, we all love flying kites, right? And if you really dig some dune buggies, too, then I got the thing for you guys. It's called Kite Buggy, and it is awesome. I mean, it is just like it sounds. You go chill in a dune buggy, get pulled by a kite, and get some serious speed. It is tremendous, you guys. Check this one out. A kite buggy was invented in New Zealand, but this sport's also big in Australia and Argentina. And for us here in the United States, there are places in Oregon, California, and Nevada where we can give it a try. Here's the scoop, guys. A kite buggy is done in a flat open space with clean wind. That means no trees, buildings, animals, or humans around that you can run over. Now, kite buggers use a buggy and a sail made out of lightweight material like nylon or plastic and flying line to play this sport. There are buggies for one person or two, so you can give it a go solo or with a friend. Now, how fast or slow you go depends on how well you can maneuver the kite, how high it is, and if you're going downwind or upwind. A kite buggy is all about speed and accuracy, and hardcore fans are starting to compete with their friends over half-mile courses. So anyways, guys, we got to thank the New Zealanders for thinking of this sport, kite buggy. We also got to thank the Chinese because, you know, they're the ones that invented the kite nearly 3,000 years ago. So you guys know, without the kite, there would be no kite buggy. So a big shishé to the Chinese, which is thank you in Chinese, and also a big shishé to all you guys out there for watching Global Gas.